right, ladies. Um, Ashley Wagner won, Mawasada got second, and Caroline Zhang got third. So, I'm going to go ahead and tell on myself a little bit. Um, I feel bad that I thought this way at first, um, but I'm so happy for Ashley. That's a big deal, a huge accomplishment for her, and I really hope it gives her a confidence boost, and, um, because it, it really is, like, a big deal. Um, so, <laughs> whenever I heard that Ashley won, my first thought was, wow, Mal really must have messed up. <laughs> and I feel so bad for thinking that, that, you know, like, that she couldn't beat Mal on her own, because, I mean, obviously she did. Mal, like, watching it, I was expecting Mal's skate to have been just completely awful, and it wasn't. It was like a fairly decent skate. She completed her triple axle. Um, it was a good skate in my opinion. It was just like a couple of mistakes here and there, but overall I really felt like it was a good skate. Um, so I was really surprised uh, after seeing that. But um, So Ashley won. That's super exciting for her. Very happy about that. I love her long program music. Um, yeah, I've already talked about that in the Nationals video. But, um, let's see. Mao, I'm like, I'm so happy for her that she has been able to just completely, you know, redo her jumps and stuff and come back competing how she is. And,. Especially, like, with her mom passing and stuff like that, that's just, in my opinion, just, like, one of the most awful, worst situations ever. Um, and so for her to just be as strong as she is out there, that's really amazing. Um, and then Caroline, I just, I cannot say enough good things about Caroline right now. I'm so proud of her, so happy for her. Um... She's just like the poster girl for hard work and perseverance right now. Um, because, you know, she was an amazing skater whenever she was younger. And then went through the growth spurt or whatever. Realized that her bad technique and stuff like that is not going to work for her now that her body is completely different. And instead of giving up after these past few seasons where it has just been awful and looked like she was never going to be herself again. Instead of giving up, she just really took on the challenge of working on things and fixing stuff and getting it done. And it has paid off so much for her. Her jumps are so much better. Her speed is so much better. Um, this competition, though, I really did feel like her speed was a little slow, but I think that might have been due to the altitude um, and just kind of being lethargic or um, you know, just, it, the altitude does something to you, you know what I mean? Like, you just don't, um, you can't breathe as well, obviously, and you just get tired faster. Um, so I do feel like that was probably, um, why her program seemed so lethargic and slow, uh, was because of the altitude. And I actually heard that a lot of skaters, like, well, whenever I say a lot, I'm thinking like four or so skaters were hospitalized because um, of how the altitude was affecting them and they were just like so exhausted after um, doing their programs. And uh, so, I mean, altitude affects different people different ways. So, so I am just so excited for Caroline that um, she's finally like starting to see the fruits and rewards of her hard work and um, I really hope that she continues to work on things because if she does that she can be one of the greatest skaters in the world right now so because I mean she definitely is one of the most artistic skaters in the world right now I think um, so now that she's finally getting those um, jumps under control and stuff like that and her speed um, it I really hope she continues to work because if so, she will definitely be a great skater and I'm so happy for her. Let's see, I stand. So as you all probably already know, um, I wasn't so happy about the outcome of the ice dance. Um, 
Meryl and Charlie didn't win. Tessa and Scott did. Um, Meryl and Charlie got second, and the Canadian team, the skinny blonde girl and her partner, <laughs> I don't know why I cannot remember their names right now, but I just can't, and the Shibatanis got fourth. So it went Canada, U.S., Canada, U.S. <laughs> um, let's see, Tessa and Scott, their short dance. Um, honestly, I didn't care for either of their programs this particular competition. Um, as you all know, or if you watch my Canadians video, you know that Tessa and Scott's free dance is my favorite of the season. Um, I just, I wasn't feeling it this competition. There was something about it, I just found myself like distracted during it, not because there were other things going on around me, but just because I got bored with it um, as it was going along. And I'd never, I mean, like I said, it, it has been my favorite free dance of the season. So I don't know what the deal was, but I was just kind of bored with it. And their short dance, I always get bored watching. I'm just not a fan of the short dance at all. I think the beginning is really great and awesome and high energy. Um, and then it just kind of loses me from there on out. It just, once that slow song comes on, it's just kind of like Boresville the rest of the way for me. Um, but to each their own. I know some people love their short dance, so that's what I've. Um, but yeah, I just didn't really care for their free dance very much this time either. But they did amazing at it. I think they got, if they didn't get all level fours, they got like all level fours but one. So that was really good. Um, they did really well. Uh, what am I thinking? Um, Marilyn Charlie, uh, their short dance was pretty good. Um, very high energy. I think that's why I like Marilyn Charlie's more is because it's more like even though they have a slower part in there, it's still kind of high energy at the same time. Or upbeat at the same time. Um, what are you eating? And then Marilyn Charlie's free dance. Oh, it just, it did not look very good. <laughs> um, because their free dance is so, like, non-stop, demanding, high energy. Like, there's not really a slow part to their free dance at all. It's like you're constantly doing something and moving quickly all the time. Um, it really just didn't look, it, very, it looked very labored. Um, just because I think the altitude was really affecting both of them. Um, I know both of them, after the program was over, like immediately just doubled over and started trying to catch their breath. And while I've seen Charlie do this before, I've never seen Meryl do that before. So I was actually kind of concerned at the end of their uh, free dance because, I, like I said, I've never seen Meryl um, double over before just trying to catch her breath like so immediately after their program ended. Um, so, I mean, it obviously affected them a lot. Um, it really affected their performance because you could just tell that they were both tired and um, the performance just seemed really, like, lethargic and stuff. Um, what else? Uh, the edges, they just weren't really there. Uh, you saw a lot of spraying of the ice. Um, they just, uh, their edges weren't really there. I think they maybe got, like, one or two level fours most um, it it just was it just was not a good performance one of those performances where you need to learn how to deal with the altitude and then just completely forget everything else <laughs> because it just it was not anywhere near a good performance at all um, and it really showed in their scores uh, I'm not for sure don't quote me on this but I'm thinking that it I think it might have been their lowest score of the season. Maybe not, though. Um, it was really low, though, um, for them. <laughs> I'm sure, like, other teams would, like, kill to have that score. But uh, for them, it was really low. Um, but I also, I don't know if this is true, because I heard this a while ago and never really, like, found anything to back it up. Not like you could find anything unless you like went into medical records or something, I guess. But um, I'd heard before that Charlie has asthma um, and it would make a lot more sense as to why he was so out of breath uh, after
after that program um, if he does in fact have asthma. Um, and I would actually be amazed uh, more at how well he did in that program if he does have asthma because uh, I myself have it and unless you have it you have no idea how difficult it is uh, to do any sort of athletic activity um, especially if you're like in the mountains like they were like I couldn't even imagine doing what he has to do out on that ice for four minutes um, in that altitude and you have asthma like I mean I know you have an inhaler and stuff like that and you know it helps to a degree uh, but it's still like it's very taxing and uh, just really hard to to do something like that so um, super proud of <laughs> proud of him that he was able to get that done if in fact he does have asthma um, so yeah one of those you just want to throw away that free dance <laughs> and not really look back oh about their short dance though I Meryl went back to the orange dress which kind of sad about because uh, I like the gold one a lot better I just feel like it goes better with Charlie's shirt too so um and then that Canadian team crap I really wish I can see her like plain as day I just cannot remember their names and I know like as soon as I get done filming this or something I'm gonna remember their names but whatever um I didn't watch either of their programs so I can't really tell you how they did or how Maya and Alex did, although I heard Alex was one of the ones to like be hospitalized. Maybe not. Maybe it was someone else. I don't remember. But um, yeah, so that's it for everything. Um, today's Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day to you all. Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to my brother's basketball game tonight, so <laughs> it's going to be a well spent Valentine's Day. Um, but yeah, I would like to do, I am going to be doing a rolls video uh, whenever that rolls around. I'm super excited for that. Um, and then I would like to make it a Europeans video, um, just like saying that I would. Uh, whether or not I will, I'm not sure. Just depends on if I have time to watch those videos or not. Um, 